afternoon all. Uh, it depends when you obviously scan this QR code. Welcome to help your child through their GCSEs evening. Um, obviously you've got your booklet in front of you now, being able to scan this QR code. It's hopefully you made the evening as well, but essentially this is the introduction that I would have given on the night. Just giving you a little bit more information you can look back at, at another time or if somebody wasn't able to attend with you. Um, first thing for me, introduction, I'm Mr. Davis, I'm head of year 11. Some of you may know me already, some of you may not have any idea who I am. Uh, hopefully now we'll be in quite a lot of contact throughout the year with this being such an important year for your child. Obviously I've got a few priorities this year. One being getting your child through this year with the most GCSEs that they can sort of gather and get leaving with what they deserve. But ultimately my biggest priority is your child's well-being. So tonight now I'm going to have a lot of members of staff that are going to be speaking to you about how the courses look, the unit content, the exams, etc, revision tips. I just want to have a quick chat before you hear all that information or read it in the booklets, saying how important it is to be looking after your child this year in terms of their well-being. So my email will be in this booklet as well. You'll have a list of tutors' emails on the front page where you'll see who your, tutor, uh, who your child's tutor is and how to contact them. It's going to be an incredibly stressful year. It's going to be a really rewarding year and it's going to be a year where your child's well-being is going to be at the utmost priority of all of us in school. So if you have any concerns, whether it's yourself as a pupil or you as a, as a parent or guardian, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us, whether it's ringing the school, dropping myself an email or your tutors an email. Okay, they should be your first port of call. They're all incredibly good at their jobs and they care a lot about the pupils in front of them. So, so just make them aware and we'll do everything we can to support them. We've got a number of different avenues that we can explore with regards to whatever you're struggling with. We can do our best and we will do our best to, to put your mind at ease and make this year as easy as possible in terms of your well-being. Okay, with that being said, Obviously, we've come through a global pandemic now the last sort of two and a half years. Not many good things have come out of it, but one of the things I think we've got a lot better at is in terms of our blended learning approach and accessing teams online, etc., and and accessing and furthering what we do in school online. So there's going to be a, a really big importance placed on that this year um, with our teachers adopting the blended learning process with our Chromebooks. So please make sure you're accessing your teams. Please make sure you are doing anything that's been asked of you at home, whether it's further research, whether it's completing assessments, assignments, homework tasks, etc. It's all gonna be those building blocks, getting you to the point where you get what you deserve on results today. Okay, and again, going on that, the importance this year of Chromebooks, it, it cannot be stated highly enough. There are, there are literally qualifications that we are studying that are solely done online. If your son or daughter or, or niece, nephew, whoever you, you care for, is coming into school without a Chromebook, there are lessons where they cannot access the learning. Okay, so it's of the utmost importance that they bring it in every single day. They may think that usually on Monday, week two, I don't use the Chromebooks. Bring it in just in case. Bring it in with your charger so that if it does die in lessons, there's lots of charging ports so we can sort of plug it in and get that work in there. But I can't emphasize how important it is for you to bring your Chromebook in every day with a bag, with your equipment, your, your general school equipment as well. Okay, so on the booklet that I'm on the front cover of now, this little QR code, Throughout that, you will have really important dates that are explained to you by the departments or uh, the directors of learning, sorry. These will be all the sort of external examinations, the stuff that's assessed, whether it's practical assessments, whether it's coursework deadlines, etc. You will also see PPEs in there. Okay, and that's, again, another acronym in education. It essentially means what I did in school and what you've probably experienced is mock exams. There'll be two windows for these this year. Okay, one will be the 5th of December, which is a two week window for all the subjects. And another then is the 13th of February, which is predominantly for maths and English. These PPEs are not only to give your, your, uh, your child, our pupils, practice and an exam situation and get used to um, exam scenarios and, and the environment in which they'll sit their exams, but it also allows us as a school to see where they're at in terms of their learning. We'll have a better picture then, all the subject teachers, of what support we can put in place to improve that then towards the end of the year where, where sort of they get those final grades and those external assessments. So it's just a little bit of information about the PPEs there. You'll see two windows. They're completed in school, some in classrooms, some maybe in the sports and exam situations, but they are essentially us completing mock exams so we get a better picture about your child so we can provide the correct support moving forward. Um, like I've mentioned, your tutors are going to be super important this year. Okay, They're, we've already put together another tutor program. So we're looking at the importance of revision techniques, giving your child some extra time in the morning to mop up on where their priority areas are. Okay, assemblies, and also we've got a form tutor quiz that happens on a Friday. You will see your tutor emails in this booklet. Please make use of that. If you've got any concerns whatsoever, 
please email your tutor. If they can't fix the problem, they'll direct you to somebody who can. Okay, so, so really make use of that. That link between us in school and you at home as, as, as parents and guardians, it needs to be a two-way street here. So we really would appreciate you contacting your tutors whenever there's a concern at all. You'll also see uh, the community drop-in every Wednesday that we've sort of up, got up and running now in Cairo Community Centre. Between 12 p.m. and 2 p.m., Alison Davis, our family sort of liaison officer who works in school, she will be in Cairo Community Centre on a Wednesday, midday till 2 p.m. for any questions whatsoever. Okay, if you have any queries about uniform through to academics, attendance, any issues whatsoever, pop in there and have a chat with Alison. There's also a phone number that's her works mobile. If you've got any queries, pop that a text. You don't need to make any appointments, just show up on the day and then any problems you have, please make us aware and we can do everything we can to help. Okay, along with that, we are fully aware of how difficult it can be at the minute in terms of finances. Okay, there's a cost of living crisis, everything is going up in price, everything is becoming harder and harder to afford. Okay, if you have any struggles with regards to anything financially, whether it's uniform, whether it's equipment, whether it's anything at all, whether it's a, um, not free school meals or paying for, for, for food in school, etc., and you would like a discreet conversation with myself or Miss Davis, either use the mobile phone number for Alison or contact the school and ask to speak to Mr. Davis. We will do everything we can to help out. We understand how difficult it is at the minute. We're all in the same team here. So if you want to get in touch, please feel free. Like I said, it'll be a discreet conversation and we'll do whatever we can to help and to solve any issues that you've got. Um, finally for me, I rambled on a little bit now, so I want to let you carry on and have a look through the booklet. Attendance, okay? It's massively important this year. Okay, One day off, whether it's having a bit of a sniffly, sniffly nose or, or, a, or a headache, that equates to obviously five hours of learning, okay? And they, these are incredibly important hours where you've got a teacher in front of you providing the content that your, your child needs to get the best qualifications. So if you can be as diligent as you can in terms of getting your child in, we understand that people get them well. If it's a bit iffy, try and soldier on, come in, come in the mornings, make your form to the away, make me aware that you're struggling a little bit, saying we can keep an eye on you. Um, but try and get in as much as we can. Attendance is massively important. And the, and the government now are bringing back sort of allowing to place fines on people and summonses to courts, etc. That's the last thing we want. Okay, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that we're going to help you out financially in terms of the cost of living crisis and then I don't want to be issuing fines, even if it comes from the EWO, but I, I don't want to see people getting fined for attendance. So please, please, please make every effort to get in every single day you can. If you are unwell or, or the, your, your child is unwell, please keep the, the school in the loop with that. Let us know what's going on and, and we'll support in any way, shape or form we can. That's enough for me now. Um, just really hope that tonight's worth well for you if you've attended and the booklet you've got here gives you all the key information you need. But ultimately, this is a little bit of a head start for, for our pupils in year 11 in a really important year. But if I can leave you with one message, please don't go quiet. Contact the tutors, contact myself, contact Alice and Davis, anybody in the school with any issues you have, queries, questions. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Give us a shout. We'll do everything we can to support and we'll absolutely smash this here. Okay, look forward to seeing you soon.